It started like any other space mission. A spacecraft launched with the goal of exploring a distant object on the edge of our solar system. But as it got closer, something unexpected happened. Ultima Thule, a small, icy rock in the Kuiper Belt, revealed itself to be far more fascinating than anyone had imagined. What seemed like just another unremarkable object in space turned out to be a strange, double-lobed world, shaped like a peanut, with secrets waiting to be uncovered. As NASA's New Horizons spacecraft zipped by at 32,000 miles per hour, it discovered details that could change how we view the outer solar system forever. No rings, no moons, no atmosphere. But the questions only grew. What other surprises does this object hold? What does it mean for our understanding of the solar system's farthest reaches? When the New Horizons spacecraft passed Ultima Thule, it made history. This was the farthest flyby in space exploration, more than 4 billion miles from Earth. The first set of images showed Ultima Thule to be a binary system made up of two lobes. These lobes are nearly identical in color, which is a rare trait for objects in the Kuiper Belt. This discovery tells scientists something new about how these distant objects form. Rather than colliding, the two lobes appear to have simply orbited around a shared gravitational point. As researchers dug deeper into the data, another key observation came to light. Ultima Thule has no evidence of rings or large moons, at least not anything larger than a mile in diameter. While it might seem like a small detail, it's crucial. The absence of rings suggests that, like other Kuiper Belt objects, Ultima Thule hasn't experienced the violent impacts that could form such features. Even more intriguing, initial data analysis shows no signs of an atmosphere, which further isolates Ultima Thule from the planets we know. It's an object that seems to have remained almost untouched for billions of years, preserving its ancient, pristine state. With each new piece of data, scientists are beginning to see that Ultima Thule is a snapshot of a long-forgotten era in the solar system. But what's truly remarkable is that this is just the beginning. The full data download from New Horizons will take nearly two years, meaning the team has barely scratched the surface of what's to come. As New Horizons began sending data back from Ultima Thule, excitement and anticipation reached a fever pitch. One of the first findings that stood out was Ultima Thule's orbit. Unlike other objects in the Kuiper Belt, which typically follow more predictable circular paths, Ultima Thule's orbit appeared slightly more erratic. However, after carefully analyzing its trajectory, scientists concluded that this was simply a characteristic of objects located far from the Sun. The elliptical orbit of Ultima Thule, which stretches across the outer reaches of the solar system, is typical for small bodies in this region. No unknown forces were at play, and there was no evidence of hidden objects pulling on it from the shadows. Then came the surface details. As the spacecraft sent back high-resolution images, scientists observed strange surface features, pits and grooves that suggested the object had experienced some sort of alteration over time. These weren't random markings. Instead, they seemed to be evidence of a slow, gradual process. Ultima Thule is a contact binary, meaning the two lobes we see today didn't collide, but slowly came together over millions of years. The grooves and indentations are signs of that gentle merging, leaving behind a surface unlike anything we've observed in the outer solar system. Yet for all the questions these surface features raised, New Horizons also delivered moments of awe. The images showed Ultima Thule's smooth, icy surface, glowing softly as sunlight reflected off its faraway body. The color of the object, mostly reddish and brown hues, aligned with what scientists had expected to find in the Kuiper Belt. But what stood out even more was the beauty of it all. In the quiet, untouched corners of space, Ultima Thule remains a pristine relic from the formation of the solar system. For scientists, this moment wasn't just about discovering new facts. It was about connecting with the past. Ultima Thule is likely one of the best-preserved examples of a primitive solar system body, a snapshot of an era long gone, its ancient surface, its unusual shape, and its quiet, untouched existence offer an unprecedented view into the past. A glimpse at the very beginning of our solar system, when bodies like this were the building blocks of planets. The New Horizons mission, 
tasked with exploring the distant Kuiper Belt object Ultima Thule, faced a number of significant obstacles that tested both the spacecraft and the mission team. One of the biggest challenges was the sheer distance between Earth and the spacecraft. With New Horizons over 4 billion miles away, communication was not instantaneous and data transmission took hours to reach Earth. At certain points, the spacecraft even passed behind the Sun, losing contact entirely. This meant that the team had to rely on the spacecraft's autonomy as real-time adjustments and troubleshooting were impossible. To address this, New Horizons was designed with highly advanced autonomous systems capable of operating without direct input from Earth. These systems allowed the spacecraft to continue its mission even when it was out of communication range. The team also carefully pre-programmed the spacecraft's trajectory and flyby to ensure it would collect valuable data despite the challenges posed by communication delays. By relying on autonomous technology and meticulous planning, they overcame the distance barrier and ensured the spacecraft's success. Another major obstacle was the uncertainty surrounding Ultima Thule itself. As one of the first Kuiper Belt objects to be studied up close, very little was known about its size, shape, or environment. Without the ability to make adjustments during the flyby, the mission team had to carefully calculate New Horizons' trajectory and the timing of its instruments. This was a high-risk, high-reward approach, with a single mistake potentially causing the spacecraft to miss its data collection window. To solve this, the mission team used the best available models and data to predict Ultima Thule's characteristics. Their precise calculations, combined with the spacecraft's advanced instruments, allowed them to gather critical scientific data despite the unknowns. The spacecraft's flyby was timed perfectly, and the instruments, including high-resolution cameras and spectrometers, were designed to operate even in extreme cold and minimal sunlight, ensuring the mission's success. The stakes of the mission were high. This was the first time a spacecraft had visited such a distant object, and the data collected had the potential to unlock key insights about the early solar system, including the materials that formed the planets. The mission also served as a critical test for future space exploration. As we look to explore more distant objects in the outer reaches of the solar system and beyond, a failure would not only delay these discoveries, but also set back humanity's ability to explore deep space. The New Horizons mission to Ultima Thule has revealed just how much there is still to learn about our universe. This ancient object, frozen in time, offers valuable clues about the early solar system, reminding us of the vastness and beauty of space. But it also raises a powerful question. What else is out there waiting to be discovered? The success of this mission shows that despite the challenges, humanity's drive to explore and understand is limitless. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, the journey is far from over. Every discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe, and who knows where the next step will take us. The universe is vast, and our curiosity will keep driving us to explore its mysteries.